what is this organism whose life cycle is being given to you? Ascaris lumbricoids. So, what is the true statement about Ascaris lumbricoids? It released the X, I mean the X released the larva into portal blood and thereafter into the liver and the lungs is not uh, a, I mean, is a true statement about its life cycle as what you can see in the uh, flow chart. 83 year old with sudden loss of vision in the right eye. Any elderly person, severe throbbing headache with a high ESR, you should think of temporal arthritis. So, uh, temporal arthritis can lead to blindness. What is the cause? It lead to anterior ischemic optic neuropathy. And uh, that is recognized by a pale enlarged optic disc. Yes, watch it, remember. And uh, you need to quickly send for the ESR and CRP and at the same time initiate glucocorticoids is what you have to basically remember. Can the online students can punch whether the voice is loud and clear? They are saying no audio. Clear? Yeah. Yeah, it's clear. Bunny says it's clear. 78 year old female presents with an acute onset of headache and a clinical examination is being shown to you. What do you see? She has got a ptosis and the eye is being abducted and the pupil is constricted. So, whenever you have a third cranial nerve palsy with a constricted pupil with a sudden acute onset of the uh, headache, you should think of a surgical cause for the oculomotor palsy. Surgical cause for the oculomotor palsy will be a posterior cerebellar artery aneurysm, picom aneurysm, posterior communicating artery aneurysm, which is compressing on the oculomotor nerve. When the oculomotor nerve is leaving the midbrain is what you have to basically remember. So, there is a reason you need to discuss an urgent MR angiogram with the duty neuroradiologist is the next best thing that you can actually do. Now, what is wrong about poliomyelitis? So, basically, poliomyelitis is a pure motor neuron palsy. There is no sensory involvement at all is what you have to basically remember. A 9 year old girl, a small firm lump at the margin of her left upper eyelid, left actually lower eyelid, the left eye was intermittently red and irritable for 6 weeks. So, what does that uh, umbilicated appearance is suggestive of? Molluscum contagiosum has that umbilicated appearance which is very very classical feature. 23 year old with photophobia of the right eye and on examination the vision is slightly reduced. And you have found the presence of a pink coloration around the edge of the cornea. You can see the hypopion, which is classical of uveitis, is what you have to understand. Then, what is the wrong statement out of all this? If you look at the serum amylase, hyperemylasemia is not the part of the Ransom's diagnostic criteria, is what you have to fundamentally appreciate. A young girl dancing in the school and felt a dull pain in the abdomen. There is a diffuse skin rash and a week later she underwent and it has shown a split lesion, a cystic lesion with a split wall and what you are able to see a classical ruptured hydrated cyst is the classical diagnosis where uh, you need to uh, be careful at the time of laparotomy there can be anaphylaxis and you need to do exploratory laparotomy under the coverage of the albendazole is considered to be the management of choice in case of a ruptured hydatid cyst is what you need to remember. A 70 year old female has got a acute loss of vision in the right eye ophthalmoscopy has been shown what it is called as bloody fundus it is called it looks as such blood shed fundus is there which is a classical retinoscopic finding in case of central retinal venous occlusion is what you have to ultimately remember. Yeah? Uh, right. So, uh, what is the common cause 
for the development of a bloody fundus. Hypertension, diabetes and hyperviscosity syndrome. This reason measured BP and random blood glucose is considered to be the part of evaluation. 16 year old male presents with a slightly red firm lump deep to the skin on the left over lower eyelid and uh, it has been present for several months and remains unchanged in size and it is not painful which is a very classical thing about the meibomian cyst is uh, what you need to appreciate a 33 year old female with a irritable eye the vision is slightly blurred and uh, there is a dendrite shaped uh, ulcer which is classical of uh, herpes simplex keratitis is what i want to underscore so actually last exam there are about 50 52 questions in images image based question b2 can give 50 52 questions not a big deal but uh, some of the students they said that the easiest questions of a question paper are image based so that anyway we will crack it let's have some concept oriented questions and maybe three four tests you can really uh batteries with uh, image based questions uh, and probably one paper with 200 image based questions just for giving you uh, a complete feel of image based questions. one of the exams before the february 28 we'll have all 200 image based questions let's see how you will solve it so that is the uh, go instead of every time 50 50 to questions means uh, hardly you will answer it like a photo quiz no big deal but uh, that may not uh, fully reflect uh, we don't know next time examiner may change his mood and give only 10 20 questions and uh, one it we, we are not sure unless two three exams of appg are over we won't be sure as to how, for example last before year they gave uh, lot of image based questions in all india pg but last paper uh, hardly eight or 10 questions only examiner ka mood ke upar hum hila rahe hil rahe hain to isliye so which will not open into the lateral wall of the nose sphenoid sinus doesn't open then um, post traumatic epistaxis it is the antheritmoidal artery whose injury can lead to development of post traumatic uh, epistaxis very commonly then for deviated nasal septum with preservation of cartilage what is the procedure basically called as uh septoplasty septoplasty is uh, with the preservation of the cartilage you will be managing juvenile angiofibroma is a boy oriented condition it is not seen in girls boys who are in puberty that is between uh, 14 to 18 teenage boys so that is the story of few of the questions then 